Hi! If you're watching this video, then you are ready to take the Stanford 10 Achievement Test. You may be asking yourself, what is the Stanford and how do I take the assessment? Keep on watching and we will tell you all the ends and outs of this test and answer any questions you may have. The Stanford 10 test is an achievement test that we use to assess a student's educational progress and set benchmarks for academic performance by comparing students at the same age levels who take the same test in other schools. Although we call it a test, this is not a test you can fail. It's just checking to see where you are in your learning so you don't stress out. If you are enrolling in four or more classes and entering grades 5, 7, 9, or 11, or a first-time student enrolling into fourth grade and above, you are required to take this assessment. If none of that applies to you, then what are you still doing here? Go hang out with friends or go outside. Most students complete the Stanford 10 after they've completed the entire enrollment process. When your enrollment is completed, you will be receiving an email from giak8academics at gmail.com with instructions on how to proceed with the test. Sometimes the email appears in your spam or trash folder, so keep checking there too. If you do not receive the email, email us at giak8academics at gmail.com. Hey, note that some students take the Stanford test during their enrollment process as a placement test. They too will receive an email from us with testing instructions. Once you get logged into Pearson, you will have to choose your test. Be sure to choose Stanford 10 Complete Battery. If you are taking the test during the fall, then choose Fall. And if you are taking it during Spring, then select Spring. There will be an option called OLSAT 8. That is only an optional practice test and not the actual Stanford 10. Let's talk a little bit about proctoring. A proctor is someone who supervises students during exams. What is a proctor allowed to do during a test? Good question. They may read the section directions, they may point out an area that you left blank or skipped by accident, they may watch to be sure you're not using any outside resources, and lastly, they may encourage you to keep doing your best. A proctor, though, cannot coach you on the assessment test to help you choose the right answer in any way. If you are in elementary or junior high, you don't have to worry. Your parents can be your proctor. Parents, when you proctor your child, make sure to have two devices available, one for your child to take the test on and the other for you to release the test for your child. If you are a high school student, your parents are not allowed to be your proctor. When you filled out your enrollment packet, you may remember also filling out your proctor form. That is the person who is going to proctor your tests. Your proctor will receive an email from the GIA testing department with information regarding the appropriate grade level test. They will also receive an email from Pearson with the login information. You will then need to set a date with your proctor to take the tests. If you choose Griggs as your proctor at the time of enrollment, you will receive an email from us with all the information you will need to schedule a time to take your test. If you need to change your proctor at any time, please email examgriggs at andrews.edu to request a change of proctor form. If you cannot access your test or you have not received the emails we have mentioned, don't worry. You can always email us at giak8academics at gmail.com and we will answer you as soon as we can. If the problem is a technical issue, you will need to contact Pearson to help with that. Their email is support at testsys.com and their number is 1-800-514-8494. The test is not timed, so you can breathe a sigh of relief. When the tests are started, you do not have to finish them all in the same day. Each test takes around 30 to 45 minutes to complete. We recommend that you take two to three days to complete all of the sections. That way, you can do your absolute best. You will have six weeks to complete all of your Stanford tests. And remember, this is not a test you can fail. So just do your very best and enjoy showing us all that you know. There are a lot of sections to the test. When you take the test, though, you are not required to take the listening or word study skills test. Elementary and junior high students will be completing eight different tests while high school students will be completing only seven. 
When you finish all of your tests, be on the lookout for an email with your test results attached. Your parents will receive your results via email from Griggs. We hope this video has been helpful and informational as you begin to take the Stanford 10 Achievement Test. Remember, take your time on the test and you are going to do great.